thousands of Canadians are nursing holiday debt. Your Christmas and Hanukkah. And so did you overspend this year? Last minute I spent a lot of money. Spending that went out of control. <laughs> On Christmas presents, extra food, treats and alcohol. On Boxing Day bargains. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. On parties and dinners. Now that the celebrations are over, the hard part, how to tackle that post-holiday debt hangover. How many of us have headaches um, this January? A lot of us do. Let's, let's nurse that holiday shopping hangover if you can for a little bit. But right after that, stop charging, only use cash. I have been spending quite a bit, more than I should be. The warning signs your holiday debt is out of control? You're buying everyday things on plastic like coffee, snacks and groceries. You have more than two credit cards maxed out and you're failing to make the minimum payments. And according to debt management expert Jeffrey Schwartz, a big sign you're in holiday red ink. Using one credit card to pay off another credit card. I guess it's easier, you just put it on credit and then you think about it later. For better or worse, North American culture puts a great emphasis on materialism at Christmas. Experts say you should pay off holiday debt within 60 to 90 days. Usually by the summer it's cleared up, and now we then we can overspend in the summer. <laughs> Schwartz advises after the holidays, buy only with cash, set a realistic budget to save money, and plan to pay off the highest interest debt first. You got this nagging credit card bill at 19 or 24 percent. Pay that off as quickly as you can. Move on to the next debt. Going forward, people often find you can spend less and more wisely and still feel the holiday spirit. So when the loss of the fireworks explode next year, the only hangover will come from the bubbly. I'm Ann Roskowski for City News.